Great. Good morning. And please get comfortable on your backs for Smith Yoga. Yay! By the fireplace with the stockings. Get relaxed, get comfortable. Enjoy some beautiful inhalations and exhalations here. Thank you for joining me. So this time of year in our homes and just around everywhere outside of everyone's homes and our trees, they're all lit up. And I love it thinking about why we do that. Hopefully most of us are intentional with that, the lights around us. Thinking about Jesus, the light of the world. So reading from our Jesus Listens for Advent and Christmas devotional, she says, brilliant Jesus, which I love how she starts this devotional, brilliant Jesus, you are the light of the world. And each year we love to celebrate Christmas by illuminating our homes with candles and lit up trees as a way of symbolizing Jesus coming into our world, our eternal light breaking through the darkness and opening up the way to heaven. She says, your light shines on in the darkness for the darkness has never overpowered it. No matter how evil and un and unbelief, how much evil and unbelief I see in this dark world, you continue to shine brightly. So in a world that uh, many consider getting increasingly dark, Christmas becomes more special, knowing Jesus, the light, can break through any darkness, any evil. John 8, 12, when Jesus spoke again to the people, he said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of light. With that, we'll enjoy a few more breaths here and then move into our practice. All right, let's take in a big breath and we'll reach all the way back. Get very, very long. Just stretch here like a kitty cat. Lengthen out the left side, let the right side relax and then switch. So just reach with your right fingertips, lengthen out the right side, let the left side relax and just switch. So just pressing back, right hand and left hand, lengthening each side, taking a couple more rounds of this. And then coming back into center, drawing your knees into your chest with your left ankle over your right ankle. Take your feet in your hands and gently move side to side. Thanks for joining me today, you guys. Enjoy some lovely movement into your lower spine. And come back into center, bring your feet to your mat. Line up for bridge pose. Lift your hips up high, and then lift your right leg high. Press your right heel all the way up. Point and flex your right foot a few times. Take one more point and flex, and then cross your right leg over your left leg. Drop your hips and let your left legs, let your legs fall to the left. So your twisted legs falling to the left, just as far as you want to go. You don't need to go really far, this first twist. Okay, come back into center. Find your bridge pose. Lift up strong. Inhale. 
Exhale and come on down slowly. So bring your, your knees back into your chest and this time right ankle over left, feet in your hands, draw those legs in really tight to your body and again, get some movement. job. Take a couple more, just moving here with your breath. Thinking about Jesus, the light of our world, cutting through all the darkness. He always has been able to, he always will be able to. Let's bring it back into center, release your feet to your mat, find your bridge pose, lift up, press into your feet, lift your hips, when you're ready, left leg high, press that heel up. Remember you're rooting into that right foot. So let's point and flex your left foot. Pressing it up, point and flex. Take one more and then cross your left leg over your right leg. Gently lower down. Let your legs fall to the right. Again, they don't have to go far. Just wherever you want to go with this little twist, double twist, twist in your legs and your spine. So just be gentle. Come back into center, release your left foot to the mat. Find one more strong bridge here, lift up. And release and exhale. Knees come into your chest. Find your way up to a seated position. Rolling out a few times. Nice job, you guys. We're gonna go into a stacked log position. So seeking one leg on top of the other, if you have another version of this that you wanna take, go for it. Sitting tall, and again, we're gonna draw those feet in, just like we did before on our backs. We're gonna draw those feet into the body, sit tall. Think about inhaling, lengthening up through the crown of your head. Exhale, soften your shoulders down, and we'll do that two more times here. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, soften. One more time, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, soften. Extend your left leg, uh, your top leg, whichever one it is. Up, extend up, go to your hamstring stretch, interlace your fingers behind your leg. Flex your foot, draw that leg in. You can hold up near the ankle, the calf muscle, down at your at your hamstrings, your lower leg here, upper leg, whatever works. Draw that leg in, flex the foot, circle out your foot a few times. And reverse. Bring it on back into center. Gently bring that down and we'll switch. Go opposite leg on top. So again, sitting tall, drawing your feet in. Inhale up, lengthen up through the crown of your head. Exhale, soften down. Just maybe closing your eyes here, just feeling the lengthening, that very subtle lengthening up. With the inhale, softening with the exhale. And then one more time. Beautiful. So take that top leg, extend it. Interlace your fingers at the back. Again, upper leg, lower leg, whichever you prefer. Draw that leg in towards you. Waking up your hamstrings, and we can circle out that foot. Go the other way. One more. Drop it down. Go back to your stack logs position. Take one more breath here, sit really tall. And then exhale, bring your hands behind you, lift your chest. Breathe into your chest, one or two big breaths. Bringing it back into center, switch out your legs one more time. And we're gonna breathe that big and we're gonna take a big forward fold. Reach forward, look down. So thankful for our light, Jesus. One more breath here. Bring it back in the center. Find your way to your knees. 
Bring your body up over the knees. Take a big breath up. Inhale. Find your way to your back bend. Exhale, hands to your lower back. Shoulders fall back, chest opening wide, taking a breath or two. Then with your next breath in, lift it up, bring those arms high, exhale your way to tabletop, find your cat pose, round your spine, tuck your toes, nice strong cat. Inhale to your cow. Come back to tabletop. We'll do that again. Bring your breath up. Inhale. Exhale your hands to your lower back. Gently press your hips forward. Lean back. Open. Breathe. One more breath here. Bring it center. Inhale it up. Exhale your way to your tabletop. Inhale and tabletop. Exhale to your cat. Inhale to your cow. Bring it back into your tabletop as you exhale. Bring your body up. Inhale. One more round, nice job you guys. Hands to your lower back. Gently press the hips forward, feel the hip creases lengthening out those hip flexors. Bring it back into center, breathe up big. Inhale, find your way to your tabletop. Exhale. Inhale and tabletop, exhale to cat. Inhale to cow. Wonderful spine work, everybody. Let's go back into your tabletop as you exhale and just press your hips out or circle your hips, whatever you wanna do here. Get some movement in your hips. And if you're circling your hips, please reverse, go the opposite way. Nice job. Good job, you guys, getting in some healthy movement for your body today. Let's take a couple more movements here. Anything that feels good on those hips. Coming back into your tabletop, find your downward dog. Let's press the hips back. Bend your knees deeply and then press back again. Okay, pressing the heels towards the mat. If they don't get there, that's okay. But notice that big stretch in the back of the legs. Let's do it again. Bend your knees deeply. Bring your head up. That's your inhale. Exhale, downward dog. Last time here. Inhale, hover the knees over your mat. Exhale, downward dog. All right, let's take a big step forward to our hands or you can walk forward. Once you get there, bounce out your legs here. Let your head hang. You can have blocks here. You can have your hands on the mat or maybe on your lower legs, but just bounce it out. Warming up more, letting your head hang and letting your neck release. Go back into center. Take a half lift. Inhale. Exhale and fold. Walk up your legs gently and bring your breath all the way up to a standing position. Breathe up big. Inhale. Exhale. Sit it down like you're sitting in a chair. Inhale up and cactus it back as you exhale. Inhale up, take it all the way down, exhale. Find your way back to your downward dog. Press your hips back, press your heels towards the mat. And this time we'll walk to the back of the mat to our feet. When you get there, take a half lift, inhale. Exhale and fold. 
Shake out your head here. Do anything that feels good in your neck. Maybe make circles or figure eights. Your head and your neck. All right, come on back into center. Nice job, everybody. Bring your hands to your lower legs. Walk up your legs. Just slowly bring your spine up. Nice job. Bring the breath up. Inhale. Exhale, sit it down. Inhale, bring it up. Here we go. Big side body stretch. Catch your left wrist. Pull it to the right. Lengthen the left side. Pushing this left hip out to the left. Bring it back into center. Inhale up. Exhale, go the other way. Bring it back into center. Inhale up. Take it all the way down. Walk it forward. Find your downward dog. Take that deep knee bend. Hover the knees over the mat. Bring your head up. Go back into your downward dog. Let's just do that one more time here. Deep knee bend, bring that head up, strong core. Downward dog. All right, so take a big step forward to your hands or maybe you walk to your hands. Take a half lift, inhale. Exhale, fold. And again, either shake out your head and your neck or maybe bounce out your legs, either one, whatever you want. Bring it back in the center. Bring your hands to your legs. Gently walk up your legs. Go all the way until you're completely vertical. Good job. Inhale up. Exhale, sit it down. Inhale it up. Cactus it back nice and big. Open that chest. Breathe. Let it go. Bring it up. Inhale. Exhale and take it down. Find your way back to your downward dog. Nice job, everybody. Walk the hands to the feet, to the back of the mat. Take a half lift, inhale. Exhale, fold. Again, bounce out your legs. Maybe work some junk out of your neck or maybe take another option here, whatever you like in your fold. Bring it back into center, walk up those legs, bring that spine up, bring up your breath with it, inhale. Exhale, sit it down. Inhale up, catch your left wrist, big stretch to the right. Lengthen that left side. Bring it back into center, switch it out. Press that right hip out to the right. Back in the center, reach up big and take it all the way down. Super job, you guys. Find your downward dog. All right, let's walk it out in our down dog. And then take your right leg high. Cross it on the left side of your left leg. Press your hip back. Lift that right leg high, go knee to nose two times. So round like a cat, knee to nose. Inhale up, exhale, do it a second time. Inhale up, we'll go warrior one. So in your warrior one, sorry, I have to keep adjusting my clothes. I have too many layers on. Warrior one, nice and big. Sink in. Remember that back leg is strong. Interlace your fingers, press your palms up to the sky. Okay, stretch it over to the right. Bring it center, stretch it to the left. Bring it center, drop it to your lower back. Lean it back. Fan the chest, take a breath. Manuel, God with us. So grateful, aren't we? Let's take our arms high in warrior one. 
Bring your left foot forward, find your chair pose, drop your hands to prayer. Sweep the arms back, palms facing down. I want you to really squeeze your shoulder blades in towards each other. Expand your chest. Bring those shoulder blades towards your spine. Hold here. See how low you can sit. Now sweep it forward, sweep back, sweep it forward, sweep back. One more time, forward and back, forward. Take it all the way up, going to warrior two, left foot back, warrior two. Reverse your warrior, turn it into a reverse triangle, lengthening back. And then switch, your left arm comes high and your right hand reaches for your left leg. And then switch back in your reverse triangle. Find your warrior two. Turn to the side for your star pose. Take it all the way down and walk over to your left leg. Hang out at your left leg for a little bit. I need to have in my backside to you guys, so I'm going to turn around. All right, so draw the body towards that leg and take a couple breaths. Y'all are doing great. We're going to get movement this time of year. Let's go to the other side and movement and breath. Such a great team, the two of them together. All right, so you're on that right leg. You're going to take a couple more breaths. And then you're going to flip it all to the front of your mat for your runner's lunge. Runner's lunge. You guys got this. First one, we get movement. Forward and back. All right. Coming back in the center, left knee drops. Here we go. Press and pose. Take it up big. Press your palms together. Reach it back. Now go to reverse crescent. Right hand reaches for your left leg. Left arm reaches high. Reach that left arm back. Now sweep that right arm up and come into prayer hands and twist to the right. You might need to change your stance a little. Twist to the right. Okay. If you want more here, tuck your left toes and lift your left leg. Up, off the mat. Okay, so you're in a lovely twist here. Let's drop that left hand down, right arm high. Right hand down, half split, sit it back. Pull your right toes back, draw your navel in, fold over that right leg. Super job, everybody. Two more breaths here. Find your way back to your runner's lunge and then go back to your warrior one. We're going to go through it again. Here we go. Warrior one. Reach up big. Interlace your fingers. Press your palms up. Stretch it to the right. Stretch it to the left. Bring it back to center. Bring your left foot forward, find your chair pose, hands in prayer, sweep back, palms facing down. Just stay here for a breath or two. Bring those shoulder blades together, expand your chest. Feel those triceps, you feel those triceps in the back of your arm. Now let's sweep it forward, sweep back, sweep forward, sweep back. Just that breath, inhale forward, exhale back. Take it all the way up. We go warrior two, left leg back. Warrior two, reverse. Lengthen out, reverse triangle. Find your way back to your warrior two. Turn to the side. You know what I forgot? Go back to reverse triangle, switch it out. Switch it out. And then come back to reverse triangle. Go back to warrior two. Turn to the side for star, dive it down. 
Go to that left leg. Hang out for a breath or two. Go to the right leg and hang out for a breath or two. Super job, you guys. Flip it to the front. Runner's lunge, go right to your crescent. Take it all the way up, inhale. All right, so lean in. So again, we're gonna go reverse crescent. That right, left arm high, right hand reaches. Bring that right arm up, bring your hands to prayer. I messed up something, what did I do? No, I did do that right. That's very good. <laughs> All right, twist here. I cracked myself up. All right, so twist, pressing your palms together. Okay, and if you wanna bring up your back foot, your back knee, for more challenge here in your twisted runner's lunge, you can. Then we'll drop left hand down, right arm high. Bring your right hand down to the mat. Bring your right leg all the way up and back. We'll exit this time. Drop it down. Find your flow. That was fun. Let's move through our flow. And then come back into our downward dog. That left leg comes high. Cross your legs. Press it back. Where's your breath? Heaven and nature sing. Going to the world. Left leg high. Need a nose two times. Take it back up. Warrior one. Nice job. Here we go. Sink in. Interlace your fingers. Press your palms up. Stretch it to the side. From center, stretch it the other way. Bring it center, hands to your lower back, little back bend here. You may have forgotten this last time, please forgive me. Back into your warrior one, right foot forward, chair pose. Sit it down, hands in prayer, sweep the back, hold here. Squeezing shoulder blades in towards that spine, palms down. And then bring it forward, inhale, exhale back. Inhale forward, exhale back. One more time, inhale forward, exhale back. Dive it all the way back up. So we're going warrior two, right leg back. So we'll go through two rounds on this side. All right, reverse. Lengthen out that front leg, come into your reverse triangle. Switch arms, right arm high, left hand reaches for the opposite leg. Switch back. Back to warrior two, turn to the side, star pose. Here we go, take it down. Go to that back leg, that right leg first. Your big wide legged forward fold, draw your body towards that right leg. Walk it to the other leg, hang out here. All right, so flip it to the front of your mat to your runner's lunge. Right knee drops. Nope. It's the first time we've been on this left side, so let's get some movement. <laughs> Thanks for hanging in there with me. All right, so forward, back, forward, back. Breathing. Then we come center. We drop that right knee up into our crescent. Again, we're going to do our reverse crescent. Left hand reaches for your right leg. Right, and then we reach up, bring your hands together in palm, and reverse hands together in prayer. Twist to the left, twist left. Okay, so you might want to tuck your right toes and bring your right knee up. You do not need to, just if you want more challenge. Look left. Drop your right hand down, left arm high, reach up, extend. Left hand down, sit it back, half split. Good job, you guys. I appreciate all the grace. 
to keep breathing here in your half splits. All right, super. Let's move forward into our runner's lunge. So go back to your warrior one. Okay, so we'll do one more round on this side. Inhale up. Press those palms up, sink into your legs, little side body stretch. Come center, other way. Come center, back bend. Take whatever kind of a back bend here you enjoy, breathing into the chest. Arms come high, right foot comes forward to your chair. Sit it down, hands in prayer, sweep back, hold here. Make sure your shoulders are far away from your neck and your ears. Squeeze them together. Reach forward, inhale, exhale back. Inhale forward, exhale back. One more time, inhale forward, exhale back. Rise up strong. Right leg comes back for your warrior two. Reverse warrior and turn it into a reverse triangle. Lengthen out that left side. And then reaching right arm high, switch it out. So we're gonna reach, get that little twist. Come back into reverse triangle. Go to your warrior two. Turn to the side for your star. Take it down, walk over to that right leg, that back leg at the back of the mat. Go to the other side, y'all are doing great. Hang out here for a breath or so. Flip it to the front, find your runner's lunge. Drop your right knee, take it up, press it, open it up. And then we'll reach back to a little twist here, right arm high. Bring your left arm up, so twist left, press palms together. So here you are again in your runner's lunge with a twist, you can bring up your back knee if you want. Right hand comes down, left arm high. Left hand to the mat, sit a back half split. Good job on the hamstring stretch, y'all. Take some breaths here. All right, find your way back into your runner's lunge. This time that left leg comes all the way up and back. Drop it down. Let's take our vinyasa. Exit with your flow. All right, let's drop down into a lovely child's pose. Breathe. Jesus, the light of the world. And I would encourage you guys to see there's so many great Christmas movies out this year. Journey to Bethlehem and the Chosen Christmas. I encourage you guys to see that because the more we see these different depictions of Jesus being born, the more we remember the hope and the light that Jesus brought to our world. But when you look at the lights around your house or around your neighbor's homes or out at different events, maybe at your church, do you think about brilliant Jesus who came as light in a dark world that has continually gotten darker and yet his light will always be more powerful. Our devotional says, your light shines on in the darkness for the darkness has never overpowered it. 
no matter how much evil and unbelief I see in this dark world, you continue to shine brightly, Lord. So it is crucial for me to look toward the light as much as possible, fixing my eyes on you. I can see you, God, as I journey through my days. Or are you taking the time to open your eyes to see him, to see his light as you journey through this Christmas season? Drawing a few more breaths here. For unto you, who will understand the city of David, a Savior, Lord, Christ, Lord. Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in the manger. Suddenly there was with the angel, a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God, and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, put toward him. All right, so find your way into a nice big up dog. I really feel the abs and the hip flexors stretching as you extend it up. Okay, tap, tap out the tops of your feet. By his mother's side. And then come back into your child's pose. Draw your hips back. Take a breath. Find your way into your cow. Let your belly drop down. And then find your way into your cat. Back into center. Let's do that again. So find your upward dog. So just lengthen out your legs. Find your up dog. Take a breath in. Find your child's pose. Take a breath in. Find your cow. And find your cat. Back into your downward dog. Your right leg comes high. So let's cross those legs. This time, really press your left hip out to the left with those cross legs. Go back in the center. Right leg high. Knee to nose two times. Be intentional with your movement, you guys. Let's go, Warrior One. Warrior One. So this time, since it's Christmas, we're going to go from more than one into our Christmas tree pose. So right foot is forward. Let's push off and find your tree pose. Drop your hands to prayer. Root into your right foot. Right, that left leg's going to come back. Warrior two, reverse warrior. Make it a reverse triangle, just lengthen back. Okay, we're gonna skip the other thing. We're gonna go right into our warrior two. Turn to the side for your star pose. Bend your left knee, right hand down, left arm high. And switch, right knee bends, left hand down, right arm high. Turn it back to the front, runner's lunge, left knee drops, find your crescent, take it up and just reach it back with your hands in prayer. Bring it down to your half split, sit it back. Draw your right toes back. So if you want to this time, throw in a twist with your half split, which would be left hand down, right arm high if you want that. All right, back into our runner's lunge. Flip out your back foot. Here we go again. Find your warrior one. Reach up nice and big. So again, moving right into your tree. 
Rooting into your right foot, push off with your left foot, find your tree pose. Hands together in prayer. Enjoy a breath here. Here we go, warrior two. Reach it back, reverse warrior. Make it into reverse triangle, lengthen out. Maybe take a little wrist grab if you want it. Warrior two, turn to the side for star. Left knee bends, right hand down, left arm high. Switch it out, right knee bends, left hand down, right arm high. Bring your right hand down, walk it to the front for your runner's lunge, left knee drops. Take it up to crescent. Bring it all the way back. Bring your hands to the mat. Half splits. Pulling right toes back. So again, you can stay in half splits or you can throw in a twist with your left arm down and your right arm high. Good job, you guys. Back into your runner's lunge. So this time, right leg comes up and back. Three-legged dog. Drop it down. Move through your vinyasa. Back into your downward dog. Y'all are doing great. Take your left leg high. Cross your legs. Push your hips back. Maybe press your right hip out. That feels nice. Push it out to the right side and back to center. Do it again. Come back center, left leg high, knee to nose, two times. Left leg goes high to warrior one. Whip out your back foot. Nice, big, strong warrior one going right into your Christmas tree pose. Super job, you guys. Push off. Root into that left foot. Breathe. Focus. Right leg comes back, warrior two. Reverse that warrior, reach back. Turn it into a reverse triangle. And again, maybe you wanna catch that left wrist and gently give a nice little tug back. Warrior two, turn to the side for star. So that back knee, that left knee, go ahead and bend it. Opposite arm up. Come center and switch. Bend that front knee, the knee towards the front of the mat. Switch it to your runner's lunge, right knee drops. Crescent, take it up and back with your hands in prayer. Leaning in. Bring it down to the mat, half splits. Such beautiful movement, you guys. Good for so many things in your body. Stay here for one more breath. And then if you want to, you can throw in your twist here with your right hand down and left arm high. Bring your left hand down. Find your way back to your runner's lunge. Warrior one. I'm gonna do it again on this left side. Y'all are doing great. Here we go, warrior one. Bring those hands to prayer. Find your tree pose. Breathe here. All right, move into your warrior two. Reverse your warrior when you're ready. Make it a reverse triangle. Maybe a gentle pull here with that left wrist. Pulling gently back with the right wrist. Find your warrior two. Turn to the side for star. Take it down. Bend that back knee. Twist. Switch sides. Bend that front knee. Twist. Runner's lunge to the front of the mat, right knee drops, press it, hands in prayer, lean in, reach back, bring your hands to the mat, half split, pull your left toes back, take one more breath, good job guys, and then your options, stay here or throw in your twist, pushing that right hand into the mat. Runner's lunge. Left leg up and back, three-legged dog. Drop it down and take your vinyasa however you like to take it. Oh, 
All right, let's catch a child's pose. Good job, you guys. Take three or four breaths. Always feel free to grab water if you'd like it. If you need it. Take a sip. We don't want to gulp water during our yoga practice. John 1, 5, the light shines on in the darkness, and the darkness did not understand it or overpower it. Mm. Darkness does not understand it. That is so true. God is all powerful. Soak that up, his light breaking through this dark world. Now reach out really big with your left fingertips reaching forward as you rest here. Take a little reflection, just lengthen out that left side. And then switch right arm out, big stretch on that right side. Left side is relaxed. All right, both arms forward. Enjoy a big breath here. Then come forward onto your belly. Go ahead and lower down. Find a nice strong cobra here. Elbows are close to your body. Legs are together. Feel your toes touching, your big toes touching. Correct that. Inhale. Lengthen up. Exhale, take it down, extend your left arm out, roll onto your left hip. Go to your quad stretch here. Take your right foot in your right hand. Okay, balancing, using your core on that left side. That left side is the rooted part, right? Your right foot is pressing into your hand. Drawing the right knee back. Remember, we don't want the knee up here somewhere. Just drop it down towards that left knee. Push your foot into your hand. Enjoy a couple breaths in your quad stretch. Nice job. Gently roll onto your belly. Let's do a little cobra here. Draw it in. Lengthen up. Inhale. Exhale. Take it down. Extend your right arm out. Roll onto your right hip. Quad stretch on this left side push your foot into your hand head resting on your arm draw it back a little bit more and take another breath or two one more breath Okay. Go ahead and release. Roll onto your belly. Gently draw the arms in. Press up into your tabletop. Sway your hips a little bit here. Just kind of wag your tail. With your head hanging in center. If you feel like you need some neck movement here, add in that. Come back into center and find your way to your back. Thanks, everybody. Draw your right knee into your chest. And go right into your lying pigeon with your right knee in your right hand and your foot in your left hand. Draw that in. Get some movement here if you want it.
And then go into your figure four shape, right? You put her ankle comes to your left leg, interlace your fingers behind your left leg and draw it in. Both feet flex. Press the right leg away with your right arm. Drop your left leg gently to the floor and find your twist. Right leg over the left side. Look out to the right. You can always take that right hand behind your head as well. Opening up that right side. Nice job, you guys. Just wringing it out here for another breath or so. And then unwind right knee out to the right side. Send your left leg out. Go to your hip opener on the right side and breathe. I can see the light in you guys. Light of Jesus in you. Let's bring that right knee in. Extend your right leg out. That left leg comes in. Go right into your lying pigeon. Gently move that if you want to. Keeping your neck long. Notice your breath, right? We're still breathing softly here. Let's go figure four, right leg comes up. So that left foot or ankle comes to your right leg. Interlace your fingers behind your right leg, draw it in, flex both of your feet. You can gently press your left leg away. One more breath here. Gently drop your left, your right leg down, left knee over the right side, find that twist. Maybe stacking your hips. Looking left, your left arm extended, or maybe your left hand behind your head. It's like that little extra pec, it's a little extra pec stretch on that left side here. Feels nice, but maybe your pecs aren't tight like mine are. See what works for you. Nice big wringing it out. Enjoy another breath or two. Just small breaths. Unwind. Bring it back into center. Left knee out to the left side. Right leg extended. Big hip opener on that left side. Breathe in. Release. One more breath here. Left knee comes in, right knee comes in. Your hands to your lower legs and just move gently to each side. And moving into your happy baby or whatever you want next, whatever you feel like you need. Like softly move here or finding some deep stretch you might need. It's all up to you. Feel free to do a variety of things. Take a little more movement or we're stretching here for a couple more breaths. Back into center. Drop those knees back into the chest. Exhale out. Inhale, big stretch when you're ready. Reach back. Point your toes forward, lengthen. Breathe in. Bring your hands together in prayer. Stretch fingertips to toes. 
Exhale, knees in, head to knees. Gently walk your legs out. Put your arms to your sides. Get comfortable. Pay attention to your shoulder blades here. Sometimes they get tucked under. We want them out. We want that expanded. So let's hit breathe in deeply. So we have a chance to do one more big breath here. So let's breathe in belly, breathe in the chest. Open your mouth and let that all go. Arms are extended, palms are up. Breathe softly here. Allowing your feet to rest fully as your heels surrender into the ground. Your toes even feel light. Your lower legs and your knees and your upper legs totally surrender and release. your hips, your glute muscles, and all of your back surrender. Just find rest here as you softly breathe. Let the belly release. Allow your chest to relax. Every time you exhale, feel that relaxation come over the body. Feel the neck and the shoulders relax. Both of the arms releasing. Backs of the hands melting into the ground. Arms becoming heavy. Follow it all the way back up to that neck and into your jaw. Release the jaw, release the mouth, release the tongue. Let's continue this process of surrender as you allow your face to fully relax. Muscles around your eyes, your cheeks, your forehead. Experiencing the full weight of your entire head. And then experiencing your breath again. Returning to your breath. Again, John chapter eight, verse 12. When Jesus spoke again to the people, he said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of light. Light of light. Doesn't that just fill you up knowing that Jesus that came for us at Christmas came this light in this dark place. It was dark then, and again, we know it's darker now, but we have this beautiful light in Jesus, this light of life, because we follow him. We will never walk in the darkness. I hope you find great comfort in that today, in this beautiful Christmas season, and that when you see these beautiful lights around you, whether it's in your house or out and about, you see these lights that you think of Jesus, the light who came as our hope, as our savior. In this dark place to save us from all this muck and mire around us and to bring us new life. Let's take a moment here while we rest, while we reflect this beautiful time of year and God's amazing, incredible, brilliant light, light that's in Jesus, the light of our Savior.
then bringing some movement back slowly. Tension. Pulling over to your side when you're ready. Coming up to a seated position. Thanks for joining me today, you guys. You did a fabulous job. Let's finish up with our prayer. Dearest Heavenly Father God, Lord, thank you for Christmas. Thank you for these beautiful reminders around us of your light in this world and that is more powerful than any darkness that can be around us. We're so thankful, God, for what you did for us. We're so thankful you were willing to come in a very humble way, rise up to be a man, to take our punishment on the cross and just to always be our light, our savior, our wonderful God, our Emmanuel, God with us. We're so grateful and we just thank you for this time together, the opportunity to stretch and strengthen our bodies and to think of you, the beautiful light of Christmas. We pray this time has blessed each and every person that has been available to watch this or participate. I pray that you be with them and bless them, mind, body, and spirit. And we just love you, Lord. We thank you. We give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. It's in your holy and very precious name that we pray. Amen and amen. Thanks, you guys. God bless you. Merry Christmas. Thank you, Mary Beth. Yeah. Thank you guys for joining today.